Welcome everyone to the Tuesday, March 29th installment of the Lightning Round, your source for daily weather news and content. At least three are confirmed dead after dangerous snow squalls in Schuylkill County and much of Pennsylvania made visibility almost non-existent yesterday. Interstate 81, where the accident occurred, is still closed at this time. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk, or a 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale today, for the I-35 corridor from Iowa to Texas. These thunderstorms will have the potential of producing winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, quarter-sized hail, and a chance for tornadoes. Initiation of these thunderstorms is expected to begin as early as 6 p.m. and continue to increase in coverage overnight. Areas such as Des Moines and Omaha, Kansas City, Topeka, and Wichita, Lawton, Oklahoma City, and Tulsa, and much of areas along the I-20 corridor from Abilene and eastward could be impacted. The eventual progression of these storms will lead to an even stronger severe weather event Wednesday as the Storm Prediction Center upgrades eastern Louisiana, southeastern Arkansas, much of Mississippi and western Alabama into a moderate risk, or a 4 out of 5 on the severe weather scale. The surrounding areas of that risk, including Paducah, Memphis, Nashville, New Orleans, and Birmingham, still need to be weather aware as significant severe weather could continue to exist in your area too. Winds in excess of hurricane force and strong tornadoes up to EF2 strength or stronger are possible here with this event. More information on this will be provided in a video uploaded later tonight on this channel. Lastly, a 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale has been issued in two separate places. One in the central and southern portions of Georgia as well as the Big Bend of Florida, and the other around the Delmarva Peninsula and the Mid-Atlantic region. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribing is free and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with all the latest weather information.